guys, happy Friday. And today it's March 5th, um, Friday. And to, for me over here, it's Friday night. And I decided to vlog today just because it's actually my first anniversary working on this hospital, at least the first week. Um, and it's my one year working here. And it's actually a really great feeling because, you know, I mean, I didn't set a time for myself and just hoping that I would love the night shift life, but um, I really do. Alright, going inside, so let's see, so I'm here at Imaging 2, so I'm about to go to my area where the ultrasound is. So I just arrived in my desk in the ultrasound department and I have a lot of orders waiting for me so I don't know if I'm going to be too excited about this. Um, it sounds like I will have a busy night but I'll show you how many orders I've got. So these papers right here are my orders. The first thing that I usually do when I have tons of orders, I will start calling nurses and then um, ask them if the patient is ready to go to ultrasound. I don't want to stress myself out, so I will always think that I'll just do it one at a time and if I can't do it all, then I'll just give it to the next sonographer that will come in the morning. So it really doesn't help if you will be stressed out because I mean it's only me during the night so I got no help and I'll just do the best that I can you know and um, it will all work out <laughs> at the end. So just an update right now it's 12.55 in the morning so it's almost one o'clock obviously um, here in where I'm at right now and um, it's so far it's not really bad it's just a really hectic <clears throat> Friday night going to um, Saturday morning I guess and um, a lot of things going on there's just a lot of um, ultrasound orders and um, the thing about working on your own is really to manage your time um, what I love working by myself is that it really um, cultivate my skills as a sonographer. It helps me really think um, as to what to do. And if I don't know it, um, basically I just take pictures and then ask our radiologists as to what they think that might be. So in the process, I'm also learning as well. So it's really not that bad um, working on your own. I mean, I can also work with a team with a lot of sonographers, but the thing about it is you're more, more prone to very be dependent to them, you know, like, and you tend to not do so much ultrasound, I guess. When you're on your own, you have to think um, a lot of ways on how to make your work or job better which is nice so right now I'm just gonna go portable I'm gonna go to fourth floor that's our basically ICU over here to do another ultrasound to check this patient's gallbladder um, and other than that um, it's all good and I'm just glad that um, there's no crazy thing that's happening when I'm when I'm saying crazy like if I have a patient that's been coded blue or patient that's unresponsive you don't want that to happen especially if you're just by yourself so I'm just taking a break guys and right now I'm actually outside the hospital it's a little bit cooler but not freezing so I mean it's okay it's actually pretty nice outside and obviously it's still dark over here it's dark and there's a fountain at the back 
right there, which is which is kind of nice when you hear that sound. It makes you, it just makes you feel relaxed um, as of the moment. But um, once I go um, inside, I will show you just a quick look on how huge this hospital is and it's huge and it's pretty and it's clean i mean it's it's a well established hospital one of the biggest hospital in our area right here so it's actually amazing that i'm working in this hospital because it's it's not easy to get hired in this hospital at all and then i also saw a lot of um, filipinos working here as well and actually they were actually recruited fresh from philippines so um, i've heard a lot of their stories and it's quite nice but it's through agency um yeah so it's nice to see um that there's a lot of filipinos here as well and some of them are from i i mean working in the icu or in the er it really it really just they're just everywhere in this hospital so it's it's and there's a fountain right here there's a mcdonald's in here but still close it will open back up around six o'clock in the morning so this is the children's hospital side it's a long hallway there's another hallway over here with paintings that are for sale and this is we're now in adult side there's another hallway Now I'm back at my desk and um, hopefully, even though that was a little tour, but hopefully it was all good. Anyway, I'm about to do a COVID positive patient, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I want to show you guys um, how um, this machine actually cleans, or it's like an ultraviolet machine that cleans out germs. So I just did a COVID patient um, earlier and uh, so I called our environmental services they are the one who will clean the room and I want to show you how this machine works it's very very interesting so that's the machine and it says ultraviolet light and the room has to be closed, but that's the room and you can see the light inside. And it's disinfecting right now. Amazing. So I'm finally done with my shift. Um, it's 20 before 6 o'clock in the morning right now and all I need to do is turn it off all the lights um, in the area right here and then um, return the machine to the other side and yeah that's it for me guys and I um, did a total of 13 patients yeah a total of 13 for my whole 10 hour shift so it was you know it was quite good but overall nothing too um, crazy um, I was able to handle everything so yeah so let's turn off the light and um, I'll go so that's the ultrasound machine that I need to bring to the other side and we we'll just have to turn all the lights That's beautiful. Turn that off. And then I'll be turning off the other ones. I just clock out from work and it's a beautiful Saturday morning right here. 
and I'm so glad because it's another day off again I have three days off starting today so I'm gonna go home get me some sleep and so I can do things around the house or maybe go out um, but yeah so that's pretty much all that I do during at work and um, hopefully um, I can do another vlog again who knows when but um, yeah so for now it's all good and um, see you guys later